Hello, hello. Today's January 23rd, 2023. And the word of the day is imagination. And this word really stumped me in a way because I am more inclined towards vision instead of imagination because I think there's a higher level of imagination and that is vision. And so if I, all human beings have the ability to imagine. So if I asked you right now, what does your car look like? You would be able to pull up a picture in your mind and describe your car. And basically human beings have five ways that they interpret the world. They do it through pictures, they do it through feeling, they do it through uh, audio, hearing, uh, taste and smell. That's how we relate to the world. And so if you're a visual person, you relate your primary way of relating to the world, how you interpret the world is through pictures. If your primary way of relating to the world is how you feel, it's kinesthetic. If you relate to the world in how you hear things, that's auditory. Smell and taste are kind of like secondary, although they apply. And there's another one that's, uh, I forget what it is. I'm not going to say it right now since I don't know exactly. I think it's digital, auditory, digital. And that's a person that like really sees black and white and they have no emotion about something. And this comes from a background in NLP. And so because we have an imagination and we store pictures and we can recreate these pictures, we can also change these pictures. We can imagine us being on a beach if we've ever been to a beach. We can imagine ourselves walking in nature or a same path that we take every day or how we drive, where we drive, like the streets that we take to get to our destination. We can recall in our imagination what that looks like and explain it to another person. Where imagination comes in into manifestation is imagining your desired outcome. So, for example, I have a specific desired outcome to have muscles defined, de have defined have more defined muscles on my body. And so a way that manifest in, in the manifestation world, it would say visualize yourself having these bigger muscles. Or let's say I want to live in a certain kind of house. In manifestation, you use your imagination to see yourself living in that house. In, in the same person, not watching yourself in the house, but actually being in your body and imagining yourself in the house. You feel yourself in the house. You may hear things that you would hear in the house. And that's how imagination is used for manifesting. Imagination and visualization are synonymous, synonymously used. To me, vision is completely different. Vision is not something that the human mind creates. Rather, it's, it's where a reception occurs from the supernatural, from your divine self. You receive a vision in pictures, or it can be in like, auditory or a feeling, a knowing, and then you interpret that as a human being, you interpret the energy 
and you bring about the outcome. And that's a form of imagination. You're using your imagination to interpret what you saw into the 3D that was, let's say, 5D. So when it comes to imagination, I like to connect my imagination with things that I feel that are aligned with my soul and not just haphazardly imagining things that I think that I want. There has to be a desire there. And when a desire happens, there is a will that kicks in. And so because I believe that my desires are from God, I'm willing to put imagination behind them. But first I have to have that desire and that will in order to put the imagination behind it to bring about the manifestation. So I just don't ima imagine haphazardly, oh, well, you know what, I want this. It, and I'm gonna imagine it because this person has it. It has to be a true desire of mine. And that's how I feel like manifestation and imagination work. First, there has to be a desire, then a will kicks in, and then you can use imagination because we think in pictures to accelerate this process. So we use our mechanism, our human mechanism to accelerate through imagination, the process of manifestation. I hope that was uh, clear in explaining how I perceive imagination versus vision and um, how to use manifestate how to use imagination in manifesting your desires that's all i have for you today have an amazing day wherever you're at in the world and i'll see you tomorrow bye